Jenny. I am so sorry about today with Robert. I know you wanted to be at that meeting. It's okay. I've just been so on edge because these meetings with these buyers have not been going the way that I had expected. I don't understand. Then the runway show went so well. That's this season. They want to know about next season. Fortunately, Robert did see one dress that he was very fond of. I didn't know you started anything for next season. I haven't. He, he loved the dress that you are wearing. <laughs> Barney's and Bendel's are coming tomorrow, and I have to have something to show them. <clears throat> um, you could show them this dress. Well, if you're offering. I do think that it would be good for both of us. Right, because then I could be in those meetings? Absolutely. When those buyers leave here, they will know the name Jenny Humphrey. <laughs> so you are going to have to remake that dress in my fabrics, of course. Um, I don't, Eleanor, the meeting's tomorrow. I, I don't even have a pattern for this dress. I'd have to take the whole thing apart and then completely make a new one. You expect me to reschedule Barney's and Bendel's? Okay, <laughs> I guess I better get to it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Ellen was a slave driver, but don't worry, I'll get you home in time to get all your work done. Ladies. By the way, I love your dress. I mean, I've been coveting it all day. Uh, who makes it? I mean, it's definitely not Eleanor Waldorf. Oh, well, not yet. Um, no, I made it, actually. <laughs> no way. Okay, no, now I'm wearing it. Come on. What am I gonna wear? I don't know. Hi, uh, Jenny, this is Max, Max, Jenny. Hi. Hey, what's happening? Well, I uh, almost lost a finger in the process, and I might be permanently cross-eyed, but I did it. Thank you. You look like hell. You should go home. Uh... The buyers are gonna be here any minute. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm going to need every moment alone to figure out what the hell am I gonna do? This dress is a mess! It's not my finest work, but I wouldn't call it a mess. The seams aren't finished, the zipper gapes, and, and you finished the hem on the machine. I told you that once the machine ate my fabric, I had to start all over. Stop lying to me. I know where you were last night. Laurel caught the interns looking at pictures of you and Agnes out at some trashy bar. Look, I'm sorry. I thought I could still get it done in time. You want to be a grown-up and have a real job? You have to accept real responsibility and the consequences for your actions when you don't come through. I should have known better than to give so much responsibility to a child. A, a child? I'm sorry, but this child seems to be the only one that can design anything that the buyers are remotely interested in. This is not about that dress. You are using that dress as an excuse because you are scared that if I am in that meeting and meet someone important that they will want to be in business with me and not you. You are lucky I don't fire you this minute. Oh, you are lucky that I don't just quit because then what would you do? Go on home, I'll see you Monday. Can I at least have my dress back? Sure. It's of no use to me anyway. Here. <laughs> I don't mean this one. You touch this dress, you will never set foot in here again. Sometimes, the most important thing to know is when to get out.